CloudWatch is a service in AWS that allows you to monitor pretty much anything about any other service in AWS. So this includes any kind of metrics like networking or storage or CPU utilization. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to send logs from an application running in an Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance to CloudWatch logs so that you can monitor the logs of your app without having to log into the EC2 instance. You can just do it from the AWS dashboard. <laughs> So if you go into the AWS console, uh, you can see that CloudWatch is a service here. And there are a bunch of different things we can do within CloudWatch, but like I said, we're just gonna be looking at logs and log groups today because what we can do is set up an EC2 instance that just sends all the logs right here. So we just log into AWS and see all the logs from the instance. So to start with, before we even set up the EC2 instance, the EC2 instance is gonna need permission to actually write logs to CloudWatch. So the first thing we need to do is set up an IAM role for our instances that are gonna send the logs to CloudWatch. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with IAM, I have another video on that and I'll link it in the description. So I'm just gonna go through this quickly. And because this is for an EC2 instance, we're just gonna create a new role. And I'm just gonna be hosting a simple web app that serves up a random emoji um, and it logs some stuff to the console. So I'll just create a new role for an EC2 instance. And this role is gonna to need to write to CloudWatch. So if we search for CloudWatch here, uh, we need to scroll down to the CloudWatch agent server policy. And if we actually look at this policy, we can see permission required to use Amazon CloudWatch agent on servers. And Amazon CloudWatch agent is the application we're gonna use on the EC2 instance to actually send the logs to CloudWatch. Uh, so we can go to next, I'm not gonna add any tags, review. And this is gonna be my emoji uh, server. So I'll just name it that. Create the new role. Okay, it's created. So now I'm gonna to go to EC2 and just create a brand new EC2 instance. Uh, and I'm gonna do this on Amazon Linux 2 and you can do this from other distributions here, uh, but I think Amazon Linux 2 is probably the easiest to integrate with other services like CloudWatch. Uh, so I'll just go T2 micro and actually I'm gonna leave all of the default settings on all of this. Uh, the only thing I will change, which you shouldn't do in production, but since I'm just testing is I'm gonna create an all TCP rule just so I could like test random things if I need to from anywhere. Cause it's just a test server. Uh, so I'll launch this, yep. So now I just have to wait for this to be in the active state so we can actually log in and set everything up. Okay, so this is set up. So I'm just gonna copy this and we're going to SSH onto this instance. And I have a uh, node application. That's what I'm gonna to use to represent logs here. Uh, but this would apply to any application that's actually just sending logs to standard out or standard error, as long as we handle those logs with syslog in this case. So the first thing I need to do uh, for this is install node, just so I can get my application working. I'm just gonna get clone the repo. and set it up and then I'm gonna run my server. So right now I'm just running a server. I just wanna show what's coming out to stand it out here. Uh, so it's listening on port 8080. So let's just go and see how the logs are working within the VM first. So I'm gonna grab that public address, visit it on port 8080. And basically every time I refresh the page, it's gonna give me a new emoji. But the logging library I'm using is gonna log out every single time there's an HTTP request. So every time I refresh the page, I get a new log here. And that's what we're gonna monitor in CloudWatch as well. So this is what's coming out uh, in the console logs of my Node application. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually set this up as a service so that we can send the logs to syslog easily and then we'll send those to CloudWatch after that. So I'll stop this application. I'm just gonna create a new service file and I have another video on setting up a node application as a service if you want more information on this. Uh, and then I'm just gonna populate this file. And the only thing that we really care about is that we're sending the standard out and standard error to syslog. 
which will put it in slash var slash log slash messages, which we can send to CloudWatch and just view the whole logs for the entire system. Uh, and this the, the identifier for this application I've just called emojis, it's an emoji app. Um, but these are the only important things that we care about for the logging right here. So I'll just save this file. Then I'm going to start the service and enable it. Okay, so now it's sending all of the logs to syslog uh, and I can actually see these logs just by cutting them out. So var log messages. Uh, here are all the logs being sent to syslog and I should be able to see, oh, I've already got an error. Uh, I messed up something in the service file and I can see one of the logs saying it couldn't even start my server. Let's see. Oh, right, I'm not actually giving it the path to node. Uh, whoops, slash user bin node okay um that's kind of cool so we would have seen the error log so i wouldn't have even had to check these logs i could have seen these in cloudwatch if i had a cloudwatch set up um so i need to restart the service uh i need to reload restart okay so now if i check the logs i should see listening on port 8080 okay so we got listening on port 8080 and actually failed the first time so that's kind of cool to see an error message and then the successful message um so now i want to be able to see these from cloudwatch so all of the logs will end up coming back here and you know just to prove that i could refresh the page a couple times and see okay there it is in this file so this is the actual part where we set up the cloudwatch agent to send all of these logs to cloudwatch and this is really easy and I'll leave a link in the description for more information on the documentation for this. But if we just run sudo yum install AWS logs, this will install the CloudWatch agent on an Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance. And that was done really quickly. So now we can just configure the settings for this and then we enable the service and start it and it will just start sending logs immediately to CloudWatch. So the first file we're going to modify is the AWS logs configuration file. And we don't need to do much in here, but if we scroll down to the bottom of the file, we can see that there is the log group name. And we're just going to make this uh, a little bit more descriptive for the application. So I'm just going to call this uh, Mo emojis app, maybe, so that I can identify that better in CloudWatch. And then notice that the file it is taking the logs from is slash var slash log slash messages. And this is the default location for the syslog log. So this, all the logs from the system will end up getting sent to CloudWatch, which is actually exactly what I want. Uh, and then it will have the name of the instance ID. So this will make it really easy to identify which instance, like if we horizontally scale the application, which instance there might be an issue in, at least which instance the logs are coming from. Uh, so that's all I need to modify. I'm just going to modify the name and then save that file. And then there's one other file we need to modify, and that's the AWS CLI configuration file. And that's because this is where the region is specified. So I probably want my CloudWatch logs in the same region as my EC2 instance. And by default, this file has US East 1, which is North Virginia. But I actually set up this instance, I think, I think I set it up, yeah, in North California, which is US West 1, yeah. So I'm just gonna change this to my current region so that uh, if I'm looking at my EC2 instances, my logs are in the same region, uh, US West 1. Uh, so once I've modified those two files, I can start AWS logs and enable them. So they restart every single time. There we go. Uh, and now like that's it. It should just be sending those logs to CloudWatch. So I'll uh, maybe just refresh this page a couple more times, get more logs into CloudWatch. Uh, and then back in my AWS console, I'm gonna go to services and I'm gonna go to CloudWatch. And I should now be able to click on the log groups and we should see if everything worked. No log groups, that sucks. I think I just remembered where I messed up. Um, hopefully one of the viewers figured this out already. When I went to create my new EC2 instance, I did not assign that IAM role. I created that IAM role so the EC2 instance actually had permission to write to CloudWatch and I never actually assigned that role. So I need to come in here and modify, let's see, uh, security, modify IAM role and we're gonna select, what did I call it, emoji I think? Emoji server, there it is. Uh, so yeah, now we can save that IAM role. Now my EC2 instance has permission to actually write to CloudWatch and I wonder if that's enough. I'll just write a few more logs, refresh. I might need to restart 
the CloudWatch server? Yeah, maybe. I'll just come in here and uh, let's see. Let's restart AWS logs the daemon. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I had to, maybe I had to restart. Maybe I was just impatient, but there now is the log group. So it should be pretty immediate, um, maybe a couple seconds, but there is the logs coming from my emojis app. If I click on that, I'll be able to see all the different instances that are running my application right now. That's just one. But if I horizontally scale this, I am going to have more instances here so we can view the logs for a single instance at a time, or we can search all the logs at once. I'm just going to select this as text. So it fits on the screen a little better. And here we can just scroll through all of the logs and actually I'm going to filter this uh, let's see this um, the last minute so there we go uh, that's me restarting the CloudWatch logs if I refresh this page a few more times we should be able to see these logs show up if I refresh anyway no yeah there they are so um, yeah now I can just view all the logs from this dashboard rather than having to log into my EC2 instances and there's many more features of CloudWatch that you can utilize that are really handy. Uh, but I just wanted to go over the basics of getting the logs from your EC2 instance to CloudWatch in this video. But stay tuned for more videos on cloud computing.